Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a video that's kind of bittersweet for me to be doing. As many of you know, and if you don't know, here's your notice. <laughs> Sensi is getting ready to launch a brand new fall and winter catalog. August 1st. I know that may seem a little bit crazy because it's really hot in most places right now <laughs> and you're we're just really feeling like we're kicking off summer, but um, not in Scentsy World. Scentsy World, we are winding down with summer and we are getting ready for all things fall and winter. So while I am excited about that and I know some consultants are already even sharing um, some of the things from the new catalog, I feel like I would be doing a disservice by just skipping over everything that is leaving us. So while I am definitely going to be sharing some sneak peeks and some first sniffs of the new goodies from the fall and winter catalog, um, today's video, I really want to hone in and share the things that we're getting ready to say goodbye to, because I do feel like that's really super important. Um, some of these things we may never see back again. So that's why it's really important. So while this list is pretty long. Um, I, I'm not going to talk about every single thing today. Mostly what we're really going to hone in today on are the retiring Scentsy bars, um, scent circles and room sprays, as well as the warmers. There are some other things I'm going to talk about as well, but um, at the end of this video, you're going to see a little like photo montage of the warmers that are going to be discontinuing. So the thing with the warmers, unless they show up in the clearance section, warmers don't come back. So if you have had your eye on any of those warmers that are being shown, specifically, specifically Moon Over Jupiter, this is a while supplies last situation. It sold out and it's been out of stock for a really long time. It's just, there's, it's too difficult from what, from what I understand is that it's really difficult to make. And so um, the Sensei has just decided they're not going to keep it around. So it is currently available. There's no way it's going to be available by the end of this month. So just consider yourself warned. Moon over Jupiter is in stock and there's no way it's going to be available through the end of this month. But um, just generally speaking, with the warmers that tend to retire and, and leave us, they don't come back. If they do come back, it'll be in the clearance section, but that's not that's not guaranteed either. So Stay tuned for the end of the video to see what warmers are leaving us. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. You guys, there are 49, 49, 49, <laughs> there are 49 fragrances that are leaving us. Now, what I will say is that the, um, the scents that we're talking about today are specifically for bars, scent circles, or room sprays. That doesn't mean that what I, the scents that we're talking about today are going to be discontinued in every single fragrance. Sometimes it'll stick around in the laundry line or the body line. For example, pink cotton. Pink cotton is one of the ones that we are saying goodbye to in bar form and pretty much everything else. Um, but it is staying around in the laundry line. Same with Go Go Mango. We're saying goodbye to Go Go Mango, but it is going to stay around in the body line. So um, just be aware of that. So what we're talking about in fragrances today is just specifically for bars, uh, room sprays, and scent circles. So before we get into this, I do want to just let you guys know, in case you have not had a chance to set up a Scentsy Club yet, um, now's the time. <laughs> Now is the time because it never fails when you're like, oh, I don't need it. I don't need it. I know the scent is going to come back next year. And then your first Scentsy heartbreak happens. And that's a thing. If you have been hanging around with me for any amount of time, you've probably heard this story before, but the pain and the sting is so real. <laughs> I can literally like, I can feel my first Scentsy heartbreak just by telling you the story. So I feel like it's important for me to tell you because back then when my first Scentsy heartbreak happened, Scentsy Club wasn't a thing. And if you are newer to Scentsy or newer to my channel, hello and welcome. You'll hear me talk about Scentsy Club all the time, which is our subscription service. There's all kinds of perks, but the I feel like the best perk is the always get my bar perk. So when any of these scents that we're talking about today are getting ready to retire, they're going to be locked up in the Scentsy vault. We don't know if they're going to come back next spring and summer season. If they don't come back, Scentsy will continue to make those bars for you that, that are in your Scentsy club for as long as it's in your Scentsy club. Even if you are the only person in the entire world that has a fragrance in your Scentsy club, they're going to continue to make and send that bar to you for as long as it's, as it's in your club. So if you've had a Scentsy heartbreak before, you know the sting and the pain and the heartbreak is real. 
So let me just share with you my story and then we'll get into what sense we're getting ready to say goodbye to. So as you can see, I've got this bar here, which is now in my club because the Sensi heartbreak is real. So this was one where every single fall and winter season, the scent came back. One of my favorites, absolutely. At the time, I think it was my favorite scent ever. And it's Huckleberry Sage. Huckleberry Sage is so pretty. There's really nothing else like it that Scentsy has ever offered in my opinion. Um, so good. So, so good. And it came back every single fall and winter season. Now remember, Scentsy Club was not a thing back then. So old Lisa <laughs> would have just bought this in the truckload. I would have bought this. I would have bought a ridiculous amount of it just so that it would tide me over for years to come or whatever. I didn't buy any extra bars because I knew it was gonna come back. Next fall and winter season happens. I get my catalogs, I open it up. Huckleberry Sage is nowhere to be found. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I literally thought there was some kind of a misprint. I'm like, Huckleberry Sage comes back every single fall and winter season. Where is it? <laughs> what are you doing to me, Sensi? Where is it? And it, and it didn't come back. So obviously you can see it did come back for Bring Back My Bar. Immediately I added it into my Scentsy Club as when Scentsy Club was a thing. So I am explaining that story to you just so that it doesn't happen to you. And I know that may sound dramatic, but we love home fragrance here, right? Home fragrance is so important to me and I know a lot of you guys that if you wind up with one of your favorite bars, and it winds up not coming back, it's heartbreaking, right? And you find yourself longing for it and missing it so much and you try to find ways to, to duplicate it and you just can't, right? Or it's just, you get close, but it's just not quite there. So this is your warning, you guys, this is it. So the rest of this month is the time that you have to add these bars into your club. If you're not interested in adding it to Scentsy Club, buy it by the truckload. <laughs> buy it by the truckload because we don't know if any of these scents are coming back. There are a few scents that are not showing up in the fall and winter catalog that I would have bet money on were going to come back. And I'm kicking myself because they're in my club, but I wish I would have added more. But once again, like you just, you figure it's, it's going to come back. It comes back every year. No scent is safe. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So I am not going to stop and pause and sniff and talk about all 49 fragrances that are leaving us. Instead, I was like, well, maybe I'll do my top six. Nah, I need more than six. Maybe I'll do my top 10. Nah, I need more than 10. So long story short, I wound up with 16 that I'm gonna talk about. <laughs> I'm going to read off all the scents that are going to be discontinuing, but then I'll stop and pause and give you my commentary on 16 fragrances. So, okay, the scents that are leaving us, all 49. Aloe Vera and Ivy, Aloha Citrus, Apricot Vanilla, Atlantic Air, Be Fabulous, one that was very close to making my list, but it didn't. Now, that doesn't mean that the this is all that's being added to my club. I just want you guys to know. You will go through and edit my club with me later on, probably in a week or two weeks. So you'll, you'll see, I am gonna add more than these 16 bars to my club, but um, Berry Bright, Berry Bright is leaving us and I, it was very close for me to like add it to my pile here, but it'll go in my club. Berry Bright, so good. Okay, first one, Bonfire Beach. Bonfire Beach, I love this one. Um, this is similar to uh, Bath and Body Works Marshmallow Fireside. Um, it's, except there's like this salty sea air kind of note to this. Plus you get that sweet marshmallow, plus you get that like woodsy scent to it as well, which is really, really nice. Typically this one does come back, but I'm not willing to take that chance. <laughs> so um, Bonfire Beach is leaving us as well. Next one, Camu Camu. This is one that does tend to um, come back every spring and summer season, but between this one and Skinny Dippin', I am just waiting for them not to come back. One thing I will say, cause somebody had um, left a comment, I believe, asking about Skinny Dippin' in the brick in Scentsy Club. Now, because the bricks uh, typically don't change, I'm hoping that, that that will change soon. I'm hoping that we will kind of change up some of the bricks. But my thought is, yes, you can get Skinny Dippin'. We're gonna get to that here in just a second. Um, in fact, yeah, let's let's wait. We'll we'll get to that when I talk about skinny dipping. But Camu Camu and Skinny Dippin' are, are the two like 
my go-tos for spring and summer season. They've always been around, they always come back, and I'm just waiting for the time that they don't come back. So Camu Camu is a very fun tropical fruity scent, and I just, I can't live without this one, so <laughs> it'll go in my club, so I'll be fine, but. Okay, next one is Cinnamon Vanilla. Next one's Coastal Sunset. Another one that I'm really sad to see leave is Coco Lime. This will go into my club. I just feel like this is such a beautiful, true authentic lime scent with just the added sweetness of the coconut. It's so nice. I love it. It'll immediately go into my club. Uh, so we have Coco Lime, Coral Waters, French Lavender, Go Go Mango, Havana Cabana, Here Comes the Sunflowers, Hibiscus Pineapple. I think Hibiscus Pineapple might be staying around in the body line, I believe. Uh, inhale, Exhale, Iridescent Pearl, Lavender Cotton, Lemon Sorbet. Lemon Sorbet, um, I probably, I'm, I'm surprised that this is making my list, but there's a reason, because there's this beautiful mixture. So this will be going into my club, which is so funny. This is one that does tend to come back every spring and summer season, but I just love it. This is just, it's a sweet lemon scent and you almost smell like the cooling aspect of this, like a lemon sorbet. So, so nice. I love it. So, I gotta have it. <laughs> so lemon sorbet. Oh, let's see here. Lemon sorbet, lemon verbena, lilacs and violets, lush gardenia, mad for melon magnolia linen i'm surprised you guys i'm really surprised that this one is leaving because it's so beautiful i love it so this one will definitely be going into my club if you like those like feminine floral laundry type scents this is really really pretty Ugh. it's fancy lady laundry is what it is it's wonderful love magnolia linen so that one is leaving us in the bars scent circles room sprays Next one is Mahalo Coconut and Make a Splash. You guys, Make a Splash, you guys know how much I fell in love with this over the over this um, spring and summer season. It's just, it's so nice. And what's so funny is when I smelled this on cold, I was not anticipating falling madly deeply in love with it, but it's a powerhouse. It's a powerhouse. It's a really fun aquatic summery melon scent and it's done perfectly. So I am sad that this is leaving but it will immediately go into my club. So make a splash. Next one is Mocha Doodle, Now and Zen, Oh Snapdragon, Paradise Punch, Peach Nectar, Pina Colada Cha Cha, had to make my list. This is another powerhouse for me and it's just, it screams summer. And I would be really sad if this doesn't come back because this is just, it's just that, it smells like a Pina Colada. Coconut, pineapple, summery, perfection. Pina Colada cha-cha okay next one is pineapple pucker and pink cotton like i said pink cotton is staying around in the laundry line but as far as wax i do love it in wax and so uh, i had to talk about it because this one is one that i had smelled it kind of like make a splash where i had smelled it in the tester and i thought okay this is a really interesting scent because it's it's berries with a little bit of vanilla meets clean laundry, clean cotton, which sounds kind of strange. But when I smelled this, I thought, okay, this is nice. I don't know about melting it, but it's nice. Then one of my friends melted it and I was like, oh, I, I love this. I love this. I need to have this. <laughs> I'm here for it. So I fell madly and deeply in love with it. So pink cotton, anytime it retires, will go into my Sensi club because it is Oh, good. Okay, pink cotton, prickly pear and agave. Uh, let's see here, rainbow sherbet. You guys know how I feel about this. Between this one and cocoa lime, this this was new last, both cocoa lime and rainbow sherbet were, were new last spring and summer season. I would imagine it's probably going to come back, but like I said, no scent is safe, ever. <laughs> Even if it's like brand new and you're like, oh, there's no way it's not going to come back because it did so well this year. You don't know. You don't know. No scent is safe. <laughs> but this one has done so well. And the reason why this is so special to me is because this smells like a very sweet kind of fruit punch type scent. But, but 
I am typically not huge into fruit punch type scents because they typically tend to be too overly sweet, but there is this like lime zest zing that comes that cuts through that super super sweet note in this and it's just it's perfect absolute perfection and it's a powerhouse rainbow sherbet i am sad to see you go i hope you'll come back but if not you'll be safe in my club um rainbows and butterflies this one was actually once upon a time a scent of the month and so when this did come back i was like hello so happy about it um, this is just a really nice, it's strawberries and pineapples. There might be orange in this. It's just a really fun, fruity medley, perfect for summertime. So once again, it's going to go into my club, really fun. And I just, I don't know if it's going to come back or not. That's why anytime people are like, what do you think? Do you think this is going to come back? I always say, I, I really can't, I don't want to be the one to be wrong. <laughs> like I don't want to be the one to be wrong. Cause I, like I said, couple of these scents that did not come back for this fall and winter season, I would have put money on that they were going to come back. So like I said, you just, you just don't know. Um, next one is sand swept and satin sheets. So satin sheets typically tends to come back, but you just don't know. And this is such a different scent. This is a like musky, vanilla base but it has this very romantic vibe to it totally perfect for bedroom type space really really nice i love it i think there's a like sandalwood note to this as well but it's a vanilla base but not a bakery vanilla like a musky vanilla and i say musky and some people think musky that sounds bad but no i love musky musky is very romantic to me and i love it so satin sheets you're getting the boot for the season. Next one is sheer leather and skinny dippin. Okay, let's get into story time with skinny dippin. So skinny dippin does, oh gosh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so, so good. And this is one of my favorite spring. I mean, these, it's so hard to pick just a few. Like I said, I was going to try to narrow it down to just like my top six. I couldn't do it. I couldn't even do 10. So here we are at 16. There's just so many great scents this spring and summer season, but this would, if I had to pick like three, this would be in my top three for sure. And that would probably have to be rainbow sherbet, cocoa lime, and then this, but I'm glad I don't have to pick. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to pick, but this, so this is what I wanted to tell you. So in Scentsy Club, like I said, there's different perks. The always get my bar perk is my favorite. There's also bricks that are available through Scentsy Club. Bricks are, see this bar? It's like five and a half or almost six bars in one hunk of wax. It's fantastic. So if there is a favorite scent of yours, like Skinny Dippin', which is available through Scentsy Club in a brick, it makes, the most sense to buy it that way so somebody had asked so what about you know if i put the skinny dip and brick in my club then it should be safe right i'm like i don't know i don't know that that would count or qualify as always get my bar if sensi does decide to switch up the bar or sorry the brick fragrances that's why i always just put a bar of skinny dip in, in my club anyway just because if they wind up discontinuing the current brick fragrances that are in there, I would hope that they would give us some kind of notice to be able to add it in a bar, but I, I don't know. I don't want to find out. <laughs> so I would say if you are in the same boat with skinny dipping and you're like, but I'd rather get it in the brick. I just feel like if they wind up discontinuing the brick, and then if I wind up with no bar or brick, and then it doesn't come back, cause that would be my luck, I would just be absolutely devastated. So I'm just gonna add a bar of it to my Scentsy Club. But if you love Skinny Dippin', it is currently, while I'm recording this, still available to add Skinny Dippin' as a brick to your Scentsy Club. But I don't know if that counts as like the always get my bar, I don't know. So, but Skinny Dippin' is super fun, tropical fruity, perfect for summertime. And for me, it's a powerhouse, I love it. So moving on, okay, let's get into the strawberries. So both strawberries had to make my list. I will probably add both of them to my club. And first one is Strawberry Rose. I am so happy that this one came back. This one was also a scent of the month and oh, it's so beautiful. This to me, I don't get any 
like floral powdery rose note. It's just to me a more authentic like strawberry on the vine like you almost get that like green note so if that's what we're considering the rose is the green note in it I'm here for it because rose scents I typically don't love but this is just a very authentic strawberry like straight off the vine kind of scent and I just I love it because strawberry scents I feel like smell very artificial very easily so strawberry rose and then we have sugared strawberry which is a pretty good strawberry like it's a pretty authentic strawberry scent but it's a very like candied strawberry very sugary so very nice love that one so sugared strawberry we are saying goodbye to as well we also have summer holiday this scent is it is floral it's a summery floral and then there is this like sweetness i think it's the amber that's coming through on this it's just it's very different very summer floral and i just i love it so this will get added to my club like i said this is not my this is not the video that i'm telling you what scents are being added to my club because we will go through together and actually add the scents to my club it'll be a struggle but it'll be fine we'll, it'll be fine we, we'll get through it <laughs> we've gotten through it before we'll get through it again but summer holiday we are saying goodbye to at the end of this month uh we're also saying goodbye to sun soaked petals as well as tangerine creamsicle i had to talk about this one too this one has to make my club had to make my list because it is so good i was actually hoarding a bar of orange dreamsicle for the longest time and since this came i have just been reaching for this and not even really wanting the orange creamsicle at all orange dreamsicle this is tangerine creamsicle <laughs> this is just it's just slightly different and a slightly more authentic kind of citrusy tangerine scent and then you have that like creamy vanilla finish that's just beautiful so i love that but the whole reason i have to have lemon sorbet in my club is because tangerine creamsicle mixed with lemon sorbet amazing mixture amazing life-changing so we are saying goodbye to, to tangerine cream school at the end of this month along with watermelon tangerine so that is all 49 fragrances that we are saying goodbye to in bars scent circles and room sprays um really quickly i did also want to share because this is something that i feel like does need a video and we are getting rid of some of the cord concealing stands same with just the standard the square stand that one's being discontinued but the um tracks which is this one here figured i would show you the stencil and the branch cord concealing stands we are saying goodbye to we are still keeping the tin and the birchwood cord concealing stands for next season but that's going to be it it's just going to be the two so if you have had your eye on any of these cord concealing stands now is the time and this is really really super cool how it works um i've done a couple videos on this so you have these little cutouts here so your warmer will sit right on top here this will be the back and if you are having this on like a countertop or somewhere that um, you don't have like a place to tuck the cords back behind or anything this is what these stands are for so you will feed the cord through one end you will wrap it up in this hook i don't know if you can see that very well but you'll wrap it wrap the cord around this hook here and then you'll feed the other end back out and then into your outlet this is an amazing system i love this i have several cord concealing stands because if i don't have them it usually looks like a road map to hell <laughs> so i would rather have it wrapped up nice and neat underneath the stand and then having it on a stand just looks nicer anyway so i really like that so this is the tracks once again this is the tracks and it's a good solid um heavy base this is made out of a resin so it's 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 solid it's sturdy it's not like super flimsy or anything same with the branch i have the branch as well it's just I've got my warmer that's on that's on it and so i'm like i don't want to like i only want to unwrap one so this is the uh tracks and then branch and then the stencil is also being discontinued and then just the the standard uh square stand as well so 
there you have it. We are saying goodbye to that. The, um, my favorite oil that we are saying goodbye to is the Cotton Blossom Tangerine because we are saying goodbye to a, a handful of oils as well. Um, in fact, here, why don't I just tell you since there's only a few. Blackberry Basil, Caramel Vanilla Strawberry, Cotton Blossom Tangerine, and Seaside Lily. Those are the oils that will be discontinued at the end of this month as well. Cotton Blossom Tangerine totally took me by surprise because I just thought... That just sounds like it's gonna smell weird. Ugh, I love it, you guys. It's so good. So I'll definitely be picking up some more bottles of this guy here because I love it. So, and just so you guys know, if you are adding any other products to your Scentsy Club, let's just say oils or pods and things like that that are being discontinued, if you're adding those things to your Scentsy Club, the only always get my program is the always get my bar. So if you add any um, pods or oils or things like that to your Scentsy Club, you will get an email and, and a notice saying that it is going to be removed from your club. So just know that the always get my bar program is only for bars specifically. So all right, you guys, like I said, this is pretty bittersweet. I am excited for the new catalog, but it's always so hard to see some of our favorites go away, especially not knowing what scents are not going to come back because every season there's always some that don't come back. So from this lineup, there's gonna be a few that we're not gonna see next spring and summer season. So it's gonna be really sad. So. All right, you guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you are most sad to see leaving or what are you either starting a club for or adding to your club. I love to hear from you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you're new, please subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Scentsy and especially because we have so much coming up. So um, I can't wait to share it all with you guys. So have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.